land of Lordran is one of the most hostile environments gaming has ever seen. Packed with terrifying demons, devious traps, and treacherous locations, it has claimed many a player and caused more than its fair share of rage quits. And yet, nestled amongst its terror are sites of stunning beauty. For those less adventurous of players, these places may remain forever out of reach, forever a mystery, with the game's open world not giving up its secrets easily, and its greatest locations being beyond many gamers. This is a top five for those players, an ultimate list of the best places to visit in the land of Lordran for those who dare to tread its empty halls. Join us on a trip into the heart of darkness. First on our list is one of the easiest places to reach in Lordran and one of the hardest to survive. The new Londo ruins lie directly beneath Firelink Shrine, the place where you are first dropped in Dark Souls. A trip down a huge elevator shaft brings you to the ruins, where wailing zombies chatter to themselves in corners and rock themselves back and forth. But there is more to fear among these waterlogged ruins as ghosts patrol these icy waters. There's a haunting beauty here, with a hole in the cave ceiling above glittering on the water like an uneven moon, and the ruins themselves sleeping in the dark like blackened icebergs. Get cursed in Dark Souls, and you'll need to brave these ruins to find a cure, a punishment that feels like a trip through purgatory. But forget purgatory, because our number four location is hell itself. Buried deep below the fetid swamps of Blight Town, the demon ruins feel straight out of Dante's divine comedy. Twisted classical shrines flowing with lava and great plumes of smoke. Terrible creatures live among these lava fields, not least the imposing Taurus demons, while the upper parts of the ruins are infested with servants of the spiders, twisted undead with egg sacs growing out of their backs. Despite all of this, the warm glow of the lava feels almost reassuring after having dragged yourself through the cold, clammy swamps of Blight Town and the twisted lair of Quilag. So deep in the earth, the demon ruins almost feel like a warming embrace until you venture deeper. Many of Dark Souls' most beautiful sites are buried deep underground, ready to be uncovered by those who can forge sun, light, and air to plumb the depths of the game's many caves. Our number three, the Crystal Cave, is the most striking of these buried wonders. The Crystal Cave glitters with an uneasy light, its huge jewels tempting travelers from its thin bridges, but its true magic lies in its magical bridges, only visible because of the cave's falling crystals. The cave's inhabitants are equally beautiful, giant butterflies that rest along the path, their wings flapping peacefully in the breeze. These incredible creatures are worth the trip alone, but be careful not to disturb them, as they are as relentless in their attacks as they are beautiful. But not every one of Dark Souls' best sites are buried underground. In fact, our number two is a city in the clouds. The discovery of Anor Londo is one of Dark Souls' most magical moments, with the player being carried up by twisted demons and greeted with the sight of a whole city stretched out under the sun. The rays of the sun cut across the rooftops of Anor Londo's cathedral, but don't be fooled, this place is home to some of the game's most terrifying enemies. But don't rush on. Take a moment to bask in the sun before your quest draws you onward. Dark Souls sometimes provokes extreme vertigo, its heights and depths terrifying in themselves. From the peak of Anor Londo, we descend through the swamps of Blight Town, through an illusory wall, into the Great Hollow, and then through its twisted roots. At the bottom of this vast tree, we come to a beach. This is the Ash Lake, Dark Souls' deepest point and our number one. In the deepest places of the world hides the greatest beauty, but our quest goes onward. Thus began the age of 